Hi YouTube, it is Sun Quick, Sun Kiss Queen here, and I am here to give Gemini their reading for the year as it pertains to Jupiter. So today Jupiter will make its transition into the sign of Scorpio. This means that there will be good luck in as it pertains to a person's will and drive to get things done that is the universal energy for this particular planet moving into the sign of scorpio as we know jupiter is about luck and expansion and scorpio is water jupiter has an affinity for water so it loves to be there we're talking about aggressive energy fire we're talking about um possibly um thriving in the area of mystery and science, occult knowledge, all of that sort of thing. So these are the type of things where you want to look for your look and expansion and stuff like that. These are the type of energy that you want to pay attention to when you see that. So we're going to see how this is going to play out for Gemini for this year, okay? As we know, it takes Jupiter 12 years to make it all the way around our solar system. And that's why I'm doing this reading because these transitions only happen once a year. And so we're going to have a major energy change around our luck. So we want to ask the cards, can you please show us what is and what will be for Gemini as they make this transition through the sign of Scorpio? For this year, show us what is and what will be for the sign of Gemini as it makes its transition into the sign of Scorpio. Show us what it is for Gemini as Jupiter sits in the sign of Scorpio. Come on, card. We need a message. Show us what is. And what will be, all right, I think we ready for Gemini. All right, so this is our first house, second house, third house, fourth house, fifth house, sixth house, seventh house, eighth house, ninth house. 10th house, 11th house, and 12th house. Okay? Sit this to the side. Alrighty. Woo. First house we come in. Woo. Right off the bat, Gemini. We are looking at the Three of Swords. As we know, we don't like that card. Not all the time. It might be good, though. Second house, King of Swords. Third house, Three of Cups. <clears throat> Fourth house, Four of Cups. Fifth house, Lovers. Sixth house, Two of Swords. Yeah. Two of Swords in the 6th house, 7th house, we are looking at 8 of Swords, ninth house, oh God, 10 of Swords, 10th house, 2 of Wands, 11th house, 2 of Pentacles in reverse, 11th house, Strength card in reverse, 12th house. And the death card. Interesting card in that 12th house. Let's read this and see what exactly is going on. And like I, okay, like I was saying. When you come in, you come in with the three of swords. Okay? This is not always the best card you want to see coming up. Especially coming out the gate. However, let's not freak out because when we get over here, we got the lovers card. So... We got some good stuff going on. This is just saying that you could be coming into this thing with a little bit of heartbreak. A little bit of relationship changes of some sort. 
I'm not entirely sure that this is romantic because of everything else that's going on in this spread. Like, there are some romantic cues and things, but most of this seems to me be about business. So, you could have some business relationships going on. You're definitely going to have changes coming around, Gemini. Get ready, okay? I'm telling you to get ready because you're coming out with the death card in reverse. That means you're going to be resistant to these changes. However, you are looking pretty successful. All right? So, let's go on to the second house. The second house is about resources, okay? So, in the second house, you pick up the king of swords, okay? So, this card is about uh, being fair. Somebody that's about justice and truth, you know what I'm saying, making decisions with reasoning and not your emotions. So basically, it is saying that this position of Jupiter in Scorpio brings you an energy that makes you a pro at securing, keeping your um, material resources where you need them to be, okay? Then we move on to the third house. This is the third house. It's about communication, self-expression, how you learn, um, day-to-day travel, things of that nature. And you come in with the three of cups. So we're talking about celebration, joy, uh, partying. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at, you might be doing a lot of traveling, having a lot of social get-togethers and things of that nature around maybe your work or things that you are trying to do or things that you are currently working on because I don't really see a whole lot of new beginnings here so these are things that are already in place for you as I said earlier it takes Jupiter 12 years to complete a cycle so you're already in the midst of the Jupiter cycle it's just the energy is changing and right now the energy is saying hey live it up party have a good time right as far as how you communicate and expressing yourself. Now, when you get to the house of home and family, you get the four of cups, all right? Um, not particularly the best cards you want around your house, but con- considering that you're going to have a lot of social activity going on in regards to work and traveling, all that stuff, home life could look a little boring to you, and this is what this card is about. You have all these options and things that you can do around your home life. And you're just simply not interested. I'm not interested in none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's not saying that things are bad at home or anything. It's just home is kind of boring for you right now, this time period. Home is going to be kind of boring for, for the next year for you, according to these cards. Now, moving on to the fifth house. This is the house of children, you know, sex, creativity, hobbies, things like that. And you get the lover's card. Now, the lover's card is in the indicative of a relationship most times not all the time um like i said a romance could pop up but considering that it's in the fifth house it's not anything i would take seriously but um it could also be you know a temptation looming around, you know, but there is a healthy relationship around this, whether it be business or romantic, even if it's around children, coming with this boredom in the house, you might be bored, but you still have a stable, healthy relationship for those of you that are in a relationship. So, you know, it's just saying that you might have a choice that's coming up, and you might have some type of temptation that is there. But you have a strong relationship, be it romantic, business, parent, child, whatever this relationship is or whatever this relationship um, means to you. Gemini, it is saying that your relationship is strong. Alright? So, we're going to go into the sixth house. This is the um, house of service, Um, your current job, um, charitable act, Um, and your health, okay? So, in the area of the health, you get the two of swords. Now, basically, this person is balancing two swords. These are pretty heavy swords, and they are um, just holding them. You're sitting there, holding them. 
So you might have some emotional things going on. If you notice the moon in the background, the moon is, is it waxing or winding? I think it's waxing. So it's going out. So we get ready to go into a new moon. There's a decision to make, but this person is sick and they're not making a decision. Now, around your career, you might have a choice to make whether to stay in the career, whether to go to the career, whether to take the position, whether to not take the position. Whatever this decision is, you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs. Okay? So, eventually, you're going to have to make a decision. I'm going to say this because for the next three cards, you're going to see why you're being particularly forced to make this decision. It's not a decision that you want to make, but let's understand something about Jupiter and energy. Jupiter expands you, grows you, and all of that, but sometimes it has to clear the way. When it clears the way, it's not exactly what you may want. I'm not going to say it's a tragedy or it's wrong. It doesn't clear the way in the way that you may like. But Jupiter is all about the big picture because it's a massive size planet. About the big picture. So, this that you're going through to Jupiter, this is nothing because it has something greater planned for you, right? So, you are sitting here in the sixth house of action, service, and health needing to make a decision. Now, for those of you who this applies to with health, we just going to pull up the passion flower, alright? Now, passion flower treats... <coughs> Sleepless, um, sleeplessness, insomnia. You could be looking at some um, some spasm of some sort. Um, it treats anxiety, nervous tension, seizures, epilepsy. Now, if this is you and you have these type of problems, hey, you might want to go ahead and look into passion flower and see what that is. But that's what we're coming up with as far as health goes um, in this reading. You know, just nervous tension. Things are revolving around the nervous system, and that is because, I mean, you got some choices that you have to make, and it seems like you're a little resistant about making these choices, Gemini, which is a little shocking, because Gemini is usually all about the change, but you know, sometimes you get comfortable where you are, and you know, you just don't want it to change. So, in the seventh house of relationships, you come up with the eight of swords okay so this is basically saying you are in a relationship where you feel restricted once again i'm gonna say i don't think this is a romantic relationship i believe that this is a business relationship this is what i feel right now when i'm looking at these cards so but you don't have to feel restricted and that you can't move. You may not be able to get out of this relationship by shaking your way out of it. You may have to think of another way to get out of it. But you are able to move because if you look at this card, look at her feet. She, um, she can move. You know? Now, how she's going to get her hands out and get the blindfold off her eyes, well, then that requires some meditation. Back again to the passion flower. It's also good for relaxing you to get into a meditative state. So, um, I'm going to say that this is a work relationship that you will feel trapped and constricted by, and this might be a decision that you need to make. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? But you can't keep sitting there and twiddling your thumbs about this decision, because if you do, when you enter into the eighth house you end up with this card here now interesting card to pull in the eighth house because the eighth house is all about death and regeneration it is a mystical house this is also the house that is naturally ruled by the sign of scorpio could be different in your personal natal chart but in a natural natal chart the eighth house is ruled by scorpio which is where jupiter is okay so if you are wondering what in the world, if you need to apply this to your life, you need to look and see where you could possibly be being betrayed. Um, where there is some loss, where you feel like you're being backstabbed or something like that, because that is what this card is about. But if you also look at this card, you can see that the sun is coming up. So, this loss that you are occurring, especially in the eighth house, is not all, it is all, although it is about death, it is also about regeneration. This card is it. You see death and you see regeneration coming. And while whatever this is that you're going to go through, this backstabbing, this loss, this betrayal, whatever it is, it's going to work out in your favor in the long run. 
And this is Becca when we get to the ninth house because in the ninth house you come in with the two of wands. All right. So this this is a merchant, and he's successful. He has all his things in a row. He got his stuff, but if you look at him, he's looking out over the ocean like there is more stuff to do. He's ready to take on the next thing. Personally, I would suggest you slow down when it comes to getting your next thing. Because, again, you come back with another energy looking like this two of swords over here with the two of pentacles in the tenth house. Okay? Which is the house of your career and your reputation. And there's something that you are having to juggle there. But, right there in the ninth house, the house of travel, this is a good card to have. Because this card, of course, is about travel. As you can see, he's standing over the ocean, looking at his wares, his accomplishments, and all of that. And in the ninth house, the ninth house is about travel, abstract thinking, and all of that sort of thing. So, you're looking good as far as some traveling um being successful but you come back to juggling a situation you got the two of pentacles in reverse in the 10th house this is the house of your career and your reputation so you can get overwhelmed like i said this person is over here looking for their next plan all right gemini gemini mind is always going what's next what's next what's next analyze this over analyze that look if you do not find some balance, okay? That means you need to turn this bug up right, okay? Right now it's in reverse. You have to find some balance because if you do not find some balance, you're going to end up going into the 11th house of your hopes and dreams and your friendships looking like the cowardly life, okay? You're going to end up giving up on everything because you could not find balance. So, letting you know now that after you have this devastation here, know that you're going to find success. But in finding success, slow down in trying to make your next move. I'm not saying don't make your next move. I'm saying be careful. Take your time in making your next move because if you do not, you will end up getting overwhelmed trying to juggle a situation and ultimately giving it all up. That's not what we want to happen, right? We want to keep it moving. Then you end up in the 12th house. 12th house is um, the mystical house, house of occult knowledge and things of that nature. And in the 12th house, you pulled the death card, but you pulled it in reverse. Okay, so death, we know, is all about change and rebirth. So, um, Gemini, you are looking at some major changes going on around your careers and your relationships. And you got a lot of stuff going on at home, like it's going to seem boring. But while you may enjoy all of this, at the same time, you are resistant to change. Be open to the change so that you can help balance yourself out. Okay, Gemini? I hope this really helps you, Gemini, as far as where your luck will be during this Jupiter period. And if you would like a personal reading for me so we can look at your personal natal chart or just simply pull a card for you for a particular situation. And yes, I do health readings too. Feel free to hit me up on the website. The website um, link will be in the description box. And I will see you next time when we talk about Saturn. Because Saturn will also be making a transition this month. Bye, Gemini.